Hello, I'm Entrism, and welcome back to Hot Survivor 4. As Sinarchist Mexico, basically a sort of fascisty, independent Mexico. We're taking the United States at the moment. We're actually starting to win, taking a large chunk of land off them. We just got to make sure we get them to capitulate, and then we nick everything. Come on. How are we doing? Crushing that four. I've got to say, being able to just surround and then kill off the few units they have is really helping us because they can't make the units very quickly at this stage in the game. So being able to do the surrounds has really helped us out. Okay. Engage you while nicking the port access and then going down into New Orleans. That's your job. Equipment effort. Lovely. Ooh. Ahead of time penalty reduced. Ah, uh, ahead of time penalty is kind of eh. Hmm. We still don't have the extra research slot. Um. Two civilian factories. Eh. We'll get militarism. We'll actually start going down that. And then, come on. No, don't let them leave. You can get this around. Just make sure we surround them. Now, this little unit is headed off to Washington. Just to see if we could force capitulation if we actually get there. I don't know how well they've got it defended. You know, it might work. All right, let's just force this. We don't seem to be capturing as quickly as I'd like. All right, there we go. It's worked nicely. Company's up there still holding out, but we should have this. Motorized. Beautiful. Field hospital. We need it. And in fact, I'm going to prevent all further um, recruitment for now. We need to start focusing on saving the manpower we have. She's not really benefited by just spamming everything. So let's quickly grab ourselves some support equipment and some motorized, which is what we'll need. So everyone's got a little bit. And then we need rubber from the Netherlands. Thank you. Okay, you're good to go. Computing machine. Decryption. Gives that all an important advantage. We're going to get surround on this unit as well. Oh, hello. I've got a unit over there trying to stop me. That said, America is very quickly turning into Swiss cheese. If we can grab Washington, Philadelphia, New York, Boston, that should be the, like, GG right there. Chicago and Detroit would be very nice as well. Remember, it's all about the East Coast in America. West Coast, eh, not as much. Especially not in this age.
improved artillery. Excellent. We could go for that, but honestly, I'm not feeling it. I think we could do more important things like... Oh, another land doctrine. Tempting, but we should really get the discount. We could grab this and reduce the ahead of time penalty on that. Because that's what we've got next in the Doctrine Tree. I like the idea of that. Washington is ours. Philadelphia, New York, Boston. Let's do it. Come on. New York. New York. Right claims Memel. Good for you. Got New York. Yes! Done. France joins the Allies. I think France may have been a little bit intimidated there. Mexico is us. I want... I won't say, you know, that America's ours. There is no such thing as America. Mexico. Mexico is us. And we are Mexico. There is no one else. Oh, that was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And we've got three military factories. Maybe not quite so much. Um, let's get improved uh, artillery. Make sure we're producing lots of that. Probably need, like, more guns as well. Oh, beautiful. Look at this. 15 out of 15 out of 15 out of 15. So many civilian factories. It's it's crazy. And I've got more left. Let's make sure everyone gets uh, a little bit of the military factory vibe. Beautiful. I look, I've got 10 out of 9 factories here. I've actually got too many factories, but sure. Whatever. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. You've all done so well. I approve wholeheartedly. Well done. Well done. Also, can we get rid of these? No. Let's go click through them all. Goodbye, my lovely merchant fleet. You did well. Without you, we couldn't have done it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And who do you want to declare one next? You'll probably join the Allies. You might join the Fascists, it'd be amusing, we're just fighting everyone. It would be stupid, however. you just probably join the Allies. Uh <sighs> Right. Let's put you on the border up here. Then we'll take half of you. Maybe a little bit more. 18. And we'll get you to come down here to Guatemala. That'll be our next. I was going to think about doing a navy as well. Yeah, free dockyards. Problem is, we don't know how to make a navy. We actually literally have no navy tech. So that's something we're going to need to figure out again as well. Uh, so many things to do now. Okay. Philippines joining United Kingdom. Good for them. They got invited into the war. As a Mexican-American... Wait, what? Send volunteers request. 
Sure, okay. Um... I thought the war ended. Yes, the Philippines were still in it, but they were a minor nation. They shouldn't have counted. Apparently, my Mexican War of the Philippines has to be prosecuted, whether I like it or not. But I couldn't care. Oh, well, well I guess I'm fighting the Allies then. Might as well start a war with Guatemala. However, um, because of the changing circumstances, I will need some of your units on the top there. Yep, yep, there we go. Canada is now our enemy, which is fine. We can attack Canada. Sure, send us volunteers. No, I'm not taking non-aggression packs. I'm not going to join the German Reich in the, the fascists. I want to have my separate war where I can get everything I ever wanted. And then offensive line. And why not an offensive line there as well? And then I accidentally stole someone from you, so uh, let's just pick on Guatemala. Oh, yeah, and push. We got this. I believe in you. Now, we can also check our trade. Look at that surplus on steel. Rubber. Ooh, I'm actually shan rubber. Netherlands, you need to give me more rubber. I'll take some from Brazil, though. Hmm. If only I could get the rubber down here. Sure, Spain, feel free. Send the things. Right, we've got militarism. 1.2 million. Lovely. Extra research slot. There we go. Do it. Mm. Losing so many people. Okay, we got this. Oh, we haven't. Oh, because it's a tank. Yeah, we don't have any armor. Uh, or anti-armor. We'll, we'll start producing tanks soon, but we need the technology to do that. We don't have it yet. We will get there. It's just going to take some time. You've got great orders. I love your orders. See that written down must be amazing. Okay, hi, declare war. Potential enemies. Uh, they were already my enemies. Fighting! And then let's actually edit that to include United Kingdom. Yeah, and they join the Allies. Cuba joined the Allies as well. Oh, that's fine. I want to attack Cuba at some stage. We need to step on our naval game, though. We're going to do power projection. We need a naval game. Right, let's get every single bit of rubber we can. Reign of Terror is gone. Goodbye, Canada. Oh, hello. Where are you landing? Here? Oh, hello. Is it here? I don't know. 
You seem to be landing near a port, but there's only this one here. It doesn't look like you're landing there. I have no idea what you're doing. Dangerous naval invasion. Eh. 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 Well, I can't really do anything about that. Not about navy. Or can I? I should be able to ship some units over to here. And that's close enough to the Philippines that if we get a few units together, we could probably invade the Philippines. So I just need to get units to here. Okay, right. We need to get units to there. You two. I'm sorry, you volunteered for an amazing job. It doesn't come with dental, so you're kind of screwed, but still. I'm sure you'll love it. Right. Get yourselves over to here. And then just sit there for, like, ages. It's a great job, seriously. You'll really enjoy it. You get to look after a tropical island. Not many people say that. What is their job? Oh, I get to look after a tropical island this time. It's a pretty damn good job. Still don't know what you're doing there, mate. How are we doing? Is it a tank? It's a tank. We're having problems with tanks. Which, you know, is, is somewhat understandable, right? They are tanks, after all. How are we doing for production? Iffy. We can start rolling out um, the ability to heal up, I think, on our units. Especially since we're almost at full experience. Oh, we haven't actually learned it yet. Okay, well, let's just do engineer companies for the start then. Guatemala's capitulated. Which is fine. Quite enjoyed that. Honduras, El Salvador, maybe? The problem is you're fascist. You might join the Axis. Right. I honestly don't think we need quite so many units, and an extra four would be kind of helpful up here. Even if we're only talking four units, they would actually really help. Canada's a tough cookie, it appears. I had not want to get into a fight with the Allies quite so early. I'm still rolling on the last war. In the last war, I was severely outgunned. We managed it because we just had momentum. This time, that momentum is severely depleted. So if we could kind of just, you know, work on that. We should be a lot better off, but we just got to get the ball. Hungry during the Axis, okay. Um, somewhere. Second Vienna reward. Really? Okay, Romania, you're not having a good time, are you? United Kingdom is... Wow, okay. Italy's not doing too well. Germany hasn't really got much momentum. Look at them. They haven't really got anything. This looks like an Allies game. Which is a shame, because I'm fighting them. They will have to die. Why do I end up on always on the end of on like the losing team? Or at least I end up on the losing team until I get on the team. Yeah, you're sabotaging my factories in Canada, I don't care. I got the peace deal with the United States, and that's what matters, right? Because it means that they don't sabotage my factories there. Fill arm experience. Okay, let's. Aha! What am I meant to be doing? Recruitment, there we go, right. Let's add artillery, artillery. Just move that around. Add an artillery in the support as well. Save, just to be able to use a bit of that experience up. Right. And let's get moving. 
All right, how much are we down actually in terms of artillery? Only four and a half thousand. That's nothing. At least not compared to the guns. Look at that. Wow. There we go. We're getting there. It'll certainly help when we've actually got that artillery underway. I think we kind of nerfed a lot of the experience that a lot of the units have gained by changing them, which is a shame. Because, like, adding, like, support divisions and stuff, you lose 20 or 25% of your experience or something, which is quite a substantial amount to lose. Hmm. But, looks like Canada's going to go down, although, again, it's going to be an annoyingly hard-fought battle. And then we'll defeat Hospital 1. If you have enjoyed, though, please remember to like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing. And until next time, of course, do remember to stay shiny and Mexican. Very important.